Cold start prevention, compartment heating, water heating, heated floors. What do these liquid heaters bring to the table? Unlike air heaters that generate direct airflow, liquid heaters warm coolant and antifreeze. This heated fluid circulates through a closed loop, delivering heat to connected components such as radiators, heat exchangers or hot floor systems. They are widely used in all types of vehicles, starting from passenger cars and campers, ending with boats and off-highway vehicles. While filming this video we have two available liquid heater models. Flow 5 5 kW heater, optimal for systems up to 12 liters. And Flow 14 14.5 kW heater, optimal for systems up to 30 liters. These heaters typically are integrated in vehicles or boats existing coolant system. But they can also be configured in a standalone loop. Both setups can be operated either by simple on-off controls or advanced multi-mode panel. Cold start prevention. Diesel engines hate cold start. The flow heater warms coolant before ignition, reducing wear on engine, battery and starter. So you can start reliably in any weather. Interior heating. Flow series integrates with radiators, heat exchangers and even hot floor systems. Here's how. Hot coolant exits the heater, passes through heat exchanger, and follows further through the loop. The same principle works with hot floors and radiators. Water heating. Add a boiler that supports heating with the coolant, like autotherm combi boil or duo boil. Connect it the same way as heat exchanger. And now you have hot showers in your van, boat or off-grid cabin. Let's do an example. I have Iveco daily camper with approximately 14 cubic meters of free space. I want to travel to Alps during the winter. My goal is to have engine preheating, heating two separate rooms and also I would not mind to have hot domestic water. To ensure easier cold starts, I will install Flow 5 heater into Iveco's existing coolant lines. For heating the compartments we will need to use heat exchangers. Two great options are Autotherm CHX Black and Silver. Both of them distribute air efficiently and quietly. The black one is 2.5 kW and the silver one is 1.4 kW. Both of them have 16 mm inlet and outlet for coolant lines. CHX Black supports 275 mm air ducts so you can direct hot air wherever you need it. CHX Silver however distributes hot air through this front grill. How to choose correct heat exchanger power output? We use the same guidelines as for the air heaters. Above 0 degrees, insulated space need 100 watts per cubic meter. Non-insulated space need 150 watts per cubic meter. But below 0 degrees, all compartments need 220 watts per cubic meter. Since I will be using the camper in cold environment, I'll calculate based on 220 watts per cubic meter. 14 cubic meters times 220 watts equals 3.08 kilowatts. A good solution would be to use two CHX silver units which together provide 2.8 kilowatt heating power. That's close enough to meet the demand, especially if placed strategically in the areas where the heat is needed the most. Lastly, I will lay the coolant lines near the bathroom so I can install hot water boiler with ease. Installation tips. Make sure when the heater is integrated in the engine coolant loop, it has the same coolant flow direction as the engine. Do not reduce the main coolant line diameter to less than 16 mm for flow 5 heaters and no less than 18 mm for flow 14 D heaters. If you create additional branch loops, the diameter of them can be smaller if the heater is installed under the vehicle. Make sure it's well protected against rocks, sand and other road spray that can damage the heater. Do not use heat exchangers that are too powerful. Make sure that the total power output is similar to heater's power output. Otherwise the heat exchangers will not be capable to heat efficiently. Do not pressurize the coolant system. The coolant pump is built for non-pressurized systems. Use only spring clamps for all coolant hose connections. If you need help designing your setup, reach out to service at autotherm.com. We will assist you to find the perfect solution. Or learn more about these or other heating solutions at autotherm.com.